Hi, I'm Jim. Hi, I'm Lissa. And, and this, this is, is The Bottom, Bottom Line. Hi, welcome back. Hey, we're back. Opened up a can of worms the other day, apparently. Yeah, before we went on a break, my husband said that he likes dating women. Yeah. Okay. And I had mentioned that transgender women are women. Did you know that transgender women can also have a period? I did not know that. Yes, they can. I don't believe it. They can. Okay. No, they can. They okay. can. Okay. Um, Psychologically, you mean? No, they... no. Trans people go through a natal estrogen-based puberty. Usually, they get their first period between 9 and 14 years of age. Really? Yes. Yes. And Probably then... because of something in the hardwiring. Right. Here's yeah. Okay, here's what it is. Transgender, th- yeah. this is the definition, okay? Denoting or relating to a person whose gender identity does not correspond with the sex registered for them at birth. It's hardwiring. Yeah. It's the hardwiring in our heads. Um, I was born female, and my hardwiring is that. Yeah. But that doesn't mean everybody's like that, okay? And so I doubt... But I like your hardwiring. Thank you. Thank you. But what I'm saying is a woman is a woman. Okay. I don't care how they got to be a woman. They're a woman. Okay. I'll bet you, and you have found transgender women attractive. Well, I'm saying I prefer, although in the long term, I prefer women who have the plumbing of a woman. It's not a moral thing at all. It's simply a matter of personal taste. Okay, so you're heterosexual and you prefer to be with a cisgender woman. Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. And it's not moral. I have no problem with other people doing what they got to do. Okay. Absolutely none. Okay. Go for it. All right, so, so that was the first thing. But the second thing I went with... Chocolate we're... ice cream. How dare I like chocolate ice cream? You prefer vanilla. Well, I do prefer vanilla. He prefers vanilla. I love chocolate, and he likes vanilla. I like vanilla. I know you do, and you can like vanilla. Vanilla gets a raw deal. It's boring as all get out. it's got to be the good vanilla, well, not the phony bologna puts, vanilla. He puts nuts and chocolate sauce on it. It's got to be the so Madagascar really bourbon, yellow. the real genuine vanilla that comes from uh, vanilla know, beans. island off of Africa somewhere. Yeah, but it's not. He puts he puts chocolate sauce in it. Well, anyway. He alters his vanilla ice cream. But is that immoral? No. Bingo. No, but what I'm saying is, okay, so what we were talking about before we went on break is characteristics. Oh, right. Traits and characteristics. Back long ago when Jim and I were kids. Back in the day. Okay, back in the day, we were raised to believe that women were supposed to be genteel and refined and that we were supposed to stay home and be barefoot and pregnant and clean the house and raise the children. Okay. Today, we know that's not the case. Today, we know that not all men are mucho macho guys who slam beer cans on their forehead. And not all women are just baby makers. And I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. And by the way, I don't want a baby. That's good because I can't have one anymore. Well, yeah, I was going to say. That's not the point. The point is... That actually worked in your favor when we first got together. Cool. The fact that you couldn't accidentally, you know... Get pregnant. Get a bun in the yeah. oven. Well, yeah. And besides, he didn't like using rubber, so... Boy, that's like way too much information, <sighs> I guess. Anyway, the thing is, um, what I'm trying to get you to understand, though, is that the traits of compassion and empathy and kindness and nurturing... You said something about women... What did you say about nurturing and women? We, in, we, in we mind, actually got into a real argument about this on In Friday. my mind, those are feminine characteristics. But they're not. But they're good. But they're not. They're not feminine characteristics. Yeah. I know men that are nurturing. You know, he thinks that simply because women can give birth. By the way, not every woman can give birth. And there are lots of women who should never give birth because of the way they treated their children. Well, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there are women who have given birth and have left their children in a toilet as they walked out the door. Yeah. And that's not nurturing at all. But what does that have to do with the what we're talking about? It has to do with not all women are nurturing. Okay. Nurturing, Nurturing is not a trait that belongs to women simply because we procreate. Okay, but I like women who are. Okay, you like the yeah. trait of being nurturing. Yeah. 
So the now, so this this the, 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 okay. the cisgender woman that you would be uh, interested in having a relationship with would have the quality of being nurturing, right? To an extent, yes. Okay, what other qualities would this cisgender woman have? Compassion. Okay. Uh, capability to forgive. That's big with me, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Uh, what else? Intelligence. Uh, mm-hmm. The um, the not being carried away and not being all that impressed with brute force. Mm-hmm. You know, the might makes right thing. Yeah, I can knock you on the ground, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I, I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Brute, brute force doesn't do anything for me because I've hit men before, so it's no yeah. big deal. Okay. Yeah, okay. It, it doesn't turn me on. Uh, that, that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, beyond that, I, I can't really think of uh, anything that uh, jumps out. We had actually talked about this over the weekend. Like I said, we, we really I we really got into oh, yeah, a, a we discussion talked about it. because it's and really we talked about it. it's important for me that you understand where I'm coming from. Okay. okay? All right. I don't expect you to agree with me. I want you to know where I'm coming from. But you keep telling me I'm wrong. Okay. I you disagree with me. That's fine. Yes. Okay. So. Here's the thing. I don't okay. know the answer. That's the point. You had something he had actually said that made sense. Is is he said that um, he he always says to me, you carry yourself well. You carry yourself with self-respect. Yes. I think a lot of what he's describing as quote-unquote feminine quality is simply self-respect. Which, by the way, anybody can have or not have. Oh yeah. Depending upon what they do, I know I know men with no self respect oh. whatsoever, and I, I know women one. with a lot of self respect, and and they will not take what they don't deserve. By the way, there's a new term I found out about men who are doormats. Yeah. Simping. Simping. They're simps. S i m p. Simps. What is a simp? A simp is a man who uh, lets people walk all over. Him, yeah, but that's... Which I hope I'm not. No, you're not, and that's not. A matter of lack of self-respect. That's the inability to stand up for yourself. Really? Yeah. A lack of self-respect. Is that kind of the same thing? No. No? No. A lack, I don't believe so. I believe a a lack of self-respect is you'll basically take whatever's offered to you. Well, yeah. Okay, because you don't, you don't, A, know what you want and know what you need. That was me at one time. You don't know what you want and know what you mm-hmm. need, and you're not willing to find those things out. Okay, as opposed to? As opposed to... Um, Talk about the simps. Uh, yeah, I know. Being a doormat. Oh, okay. As opposed to, uh, you know, not standing up for yourself. Okay, can, can I tell them about what happened? Go ahead. Okay, so here's what happened. In for a dime, in for a dollar. On on Saturday, okay, I was I was fixing him, I was cooking pierogies and I burned the pierogies and there was like smoke all throughout the apartment, okay. Not and a big deal to me. Not a big deal to him, but I was just livid, and I'm and I have a problem with overreaction. I do. I have a problem with overreacting in lots of things. It was the way. My family behaved. It yeah. was always an overreaction. Some of the people, well, say some of the people involved in your upbringing were my, assholes. My immediate family. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so some he he accidentally, I, it was uh, toasted ravioli, which I he love loves, oh, God, yeah. with marinara sauce. He accidentally dumped it, and I screamed at him. I screamed at him to get out of the chair. It was wrong. He said looked at me and said that was inappropriate i was so proud of him for saying that because he doesn't stand up for himself he has self-esteem he just doesn't stand up for himself very much we're kind of uh just jumping all over the place aren't we i know we're out of time to crap nuts okay so the bottom line to this is is femininity and masculinity i don't believe they exist Okay. Because when it comes to qualities and traits, when, right. it, when it comes to chromosomes, yeah, there's there's women and there's there's men. Yeah. But I don't believe that the traits are feminine 
or masculine, and I think that's a bunch of bullshit. And uh, thank you for joining us, and we will see you on Thursday. Have a great Wednesday. Bye. Okay. You notice how she got the last word that time. <laughs> <laughs> you shit. <laughs>